Is there a market for a further increase in acreage and pulse crops? And kind of what, what's the current markets and where is the pulse industry uh, headed? And the other thing I might want to uh, just qualify right now is pulse crops, for those that aren't familiar with them, are basically field pea, uh, lentil, dry bean, faba bean, chickpea, and uh, a thing called mung bean, which we've been playing with for the last few years. And I guess the reason I'm distinguishing that from a crop called soybean is because soybean is actually grown for its oil. And like Bob uh, Blackshaw mentioned this morning, you know, it's about 18 to 20 percent oil. The pulse crops are usually in the 1 to 2 percent range, with the exception of lupin that could be as high as 7, 8 percent. Uh, just to touch on the acreage, um, we all know it's increased uh, from 2009. You know, if you look at dry peas, there was something like 800,000 acres seeded in 2009. That moved up to 910,000 in, in uh, 10. Uh, in terms of harvested acreages, we went from 750 to 895,000. Uh, the yield, though, was definitely definitely up. Uh, if you look at the 10-year average, we're at about 34 bushels per acre. Last year, we were at about 38 and a half bushels per acre. And you know, so roughly, uh, if you look at uh, 10 versus 9. 18% yield increase and a 13% yield increase uh, overall if you compare the 10-year average. When it comes to lentils, I know that's the, the real big surprise of this past year. Uh, in 2009, we were about 45,000 acres harvested or, or seeded and harvested. And uh, I guess initially we thought we were probably at about 160,000 acres of lentils in the province, but you know it kind of ended up around 140,000 seeded and 135 harvested. And the yield was what was really surprising for a lot of people, especially with the amount of white mold that was in the crop. Uh, you know, we had yields of 20.